Over the past few weeks, we've shown you the training process of my two young Appaloosa horses, Dottie and Piper. We take you to Pear Tree Ranch for the final stages of this special Horse Capital TV Extra Series. So we're gonna start slow because we're fresh out of the stall here and just kind of let them legs warm up a bit. We did some work on this patient's pull and building up their mental, emotional, and physical fitness to be able to walk, track, canter, and learn that they're in charge of putting the slack in the rope. It's not my job to put the slack in the rope for them, okay? And this is how then we're gonna have safety when we ride. This pulling back turns into flipping over and smashing and people being hurt, maimed, or killed. Okay, and so this is why for me, it's really crucial. I don't ride horses when there is that resistance in there. We take care of it on the ground to keep us safe and therefore our customers safe. That was a big part of week three. Now, towards the end of week three, we started flirting with the saddle. We were having some uh, success with the older mare, Piper, and she's had more training in time. The younger horse, Dottie, still is um, working through some of that resistance at the walk and trot in the canter, off that halter and lead. Coming together nicely. We moved into week four now. In week four, with Piper, we've done more and more saddling. Guess what we found? Bucking, yay! Okay, and so how do we handle a horse that bucks with the saddle on? For me, it depends. If they're bucking extreme and I can shut it down and just tell them, no, we don't need to do that. Doesn't mean we need to do anything else, just stop. To create a positive pattern, what I do is I unsaddle, resaddle, resinch, and start again. Because what I want is a positive pattern of stand still, get saddled, get cinched, and be relaxed. Okay, and be able to then go walk, trot, canter, do our basic bare minimum of groundwork and then we'll consider getting on and riding. So it was most of week four that we focused on just that pattern itself, being able to come out, get saddled, not have a fuss, have an explosion and have this worry so that we're building a repeatable pattern, a reproducible outcome. As we finish up week four, we're gonna look at how is those patterns going and then what kind of beginning riding we've done. So we did one ride on the uh, Piper and it was okay. We mostly focused on mounting with quality and relaxation, bending, going forward and stopping and bending and keeping that relaxation there so that we don't build this worry that something big is gonna happen, that she has to do anything that might be hard or scary. And this keeps the confidence in the horse and the relaxation so that we have quality yields in the things that we wanna do. On Dottie, the younger horse, through week four, again, we've continued to work on that walk track canter. We've done the bareback pad to check, was there tension to worry about the cinch? The bareback pad with a cinch is a little less scary than a big heavy saddle with ropes and back cinches and um, saddle strings and tickly things that might create more bother. And we did a little bit of that, but also mostly focusing on still the need for that uh, quality yielding off the halter before we get too progressive, which then puts us in a pickle where you have to do more pressure than we might want, which could accidentally create fear in the horse, which is what we're trying to stay away from. So we've had some good successes and we've had things that we've had to rely on our patience and persistence to get through. And this sets us up towards the end of the first four weeks to have something to stand on. That's the beginnings of these foundation for these horses so that we can progress into the future with good habits and skills to carry forward. Good job. If you missed earlier episodes of Jake's training sessions, go to horsecapitaltv.com to view each week of this special series. Shop Ocala Luxury at Dillard's Market Street at Heathbrook Ocala. Run with us on a John Deere Z700 series Z-Track mower and get the job done fast. Because the day, no matter how early you rise, is a whole lot shorter than your to-do list. Nothing runs like a deer. Run with us. Search John Deere C700 for more.